Hi everyone, my name is Faith Akoyi and this is my YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel and on this channel we talk about faith, we talk about Jesus, we talk about how we can see ourselves through the lens of the scripture, how the Bible can come or life in our lives. On today's teaching, I want to just encourage one person, I want to encourage um, two persons to see themselves the way God sees them. We are in a world whereby people just have different speculations of us. People just have different perception of who you are. You know, when they just see, um, when they just notice an area of strength, they just assume that, oh, this is what you should be doing. Oh, you talk too much. Why not do this? Oh, you do this. Why not do that? I want to encourage us to see ourselves through the lens of the scripture and how God sees us. How do you think God sees you? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever, have you ever just sat down and said, God, who am I? You know, sometimes you cannot even fathom who you truly are. And that is why it is best and it is the safest place to be when you see yourself the way God sees you because it just gives you this freedom. When you know the truth of God about you, the Bible said, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. What the truth does to you is it sets you free. It sets you free of people's perception. It sets you free of people wanting them, wanting you to be a particular, you know, to live a kind of way, to be a particular kind of person. When you know the truth, in God about yourself. You live in freedom. Regardless of what people say to you, regardless of people's you know, speculations of you, you are free because you know the way, you're aware of how God sees you. I remember a teacher in secondary school once told me that he had a dream that I was going to be a doctor, blah, blah, blah. I knew as at that time that I, I cannot be a doctor. <laughs> I can't, can't. Doctor is not something that I want to be. As young as I was, I just knew that everything in me knew that I... I was not going to be a doctor. I'm much older now and I'm still not a doctor. As I grew older, I knew the plan of God and purpose of God for my life. I knew, you know, I began to look through the lens of God and not, you know, people's perception of me. Regardless of what you tell me, I will check it by the word. So I want to encourage somebody today. I should go about your day. Yes, many of us are on a path or in our journey because of what somebody said. Yes, sometimes people would have perception of you but how will you know the true you out of many you know people saying so many things to you it is only when you have you you know when your foundation is on what god has said about you so when you hear this you know that okay this looks like what god said concerning oh this does not look like it and you'll be able to walk in total freedom in mark 16 from verse 13 to 18 jesus was with his disciples and he was trying to he was trying to understand people's speculation of him. He was trying to understand what people see him as. And he asked his disciples, who do men say that I am? This is not because he does not know who he was, but he wanted to be sure if, pe if these people that is leading, that is healing, that all these miracles that he's doing, if people really, really know who he was. Disciples, where they say, some say you are Elijah, some say you are a prophet, some say you are Jeremiah, some say you are this, some say you are that. And he, he went for that to ask them that, who do you think I, these people have been working with God? They, you know, they've been following him all around. And he, he wanted to be sure that they knew who he was. This is to tell us that you can have a relationship with God. You can be, you know, doing things for God and still not know who God is or and still not know who you are in him. So Jesus was asking them, that, who do you think that I am? And Peter said, you are the son of God. You are, a, you are the Messiah. And Jesus said, yes, this, is, this can only be revealed to you by my father who is in heaven. It is only my father that can reveal this to you because that is the truth about me. What is God's truth about you? Do not let people around you determine the way, the trajectory of your life. Do not give people that, you know, that right to determine what you should do, who you should be. God is the only one that has that right and that can lead you right. The truth about you, like I said earlier, gives you freedom. And when you begin to live a life of freedom, you begin to live a life of fulfillment. You will not just be tossed here and there. People can have perception. That's fine. But you know where you are going to. You are focused. Your life is well planned out because you know who you are. So I'm encouraging you today to look at yourself through the lens of God. Because it is only in him that you can know the truth about yourself. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope to see you next time. Please do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your friends as it helps us to reach 
more people. Thank you and God bless you.